on uh, on the first uh, commandment, Anochi Hashem. I'm God. You have to have Rambam says on that that it's uh, you have to have emuna in Hashem. So there's a question that's asked: Who are we talking about over here? If you're talking about a person that doesn't have emuna, he doesn't believe. He's a kofed, so he doesn't believe. Oh, I have emuna. He doesn't believe. So must be it's talking about a person that has emuna. So if he has emuna, why are you telling me? Oh, by the way, the first commandment is you have to have emuna. He has emuna. That's what we're talking about. We're talking about a guy who has emuna. So the answer from Rosh Birnbaum says like this. He says that there's emuna. This is also Mitzray uh, Shlims has this comment like this, but as well. But there's emuna and there's emuna. I'll explain. There's emuna knowing there's a kadosh baruch Hu around, but there's emuna a feeling that a kadosh baruch Hu is around. What I'm saying? What am I saying like that? There's a in the in the Alim Roshbeach we say vaHashavota el levavecha. Bring in to your heart, to your mind. Meaning to say, you should actually feel it. There is everybody. Uh, everybody has emuna. Everybody believes in Hashem. Everybody, no matter what you say, everybody believes in in, in Borei Olam. And one of the biggest proofs, I'll tell you an amazing story, was in the World War Two. In World War Two. Before the in the war, there was a guy, there was a Jewish guy that uh, that uh, that the Maskilim got him, and he went off the derech, and he married at a, 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 a non Jew, and after that. He um, uh, he was caught by the Nazis. Like the Nazis said, "Listen, you're Jewish. We got to kill you." He says, "What do you mean? I have nothing to do with the Jews. I married out of the out of the Jewish nation. Uh, I don't. I, I go to. He's basically going to church with them. He doesn't know anything to do with Judaism." He says, "What? What are you taking me?" And the guy, the Nazi guy that was there, he's like, he's like, you know, you're right, but uh, this is orders. So so he went to his general, and the general says, "Okay, fine. We'll test him out." They took him. They took him to the shul, and they told him like this. Okay, they started a fire outside the shul. They brought out a Sefer Torah. And they told the guy, you're claiming you're not Jewish at all, you have no Judaism in you, take the Sefer Torah, throw it in the fire. He says, that, that I can't do. He says, oh, that means you still have Judaism in you. They took him, and with the Torah, they threw him in the fire, and he died al Kiddush Hashem. It's a true story. But what's my point I'm trying to say? Deep down, everybody has a Munah. So by him, the Munah was, uh, they had to catch it only in this level. But everybody has him. We're not Kadosh Baruch Hu. So the Inyan over here, the Mitzvah, the Rambam is saying is that you have to have emunah hushit. Emunah hushit means you have to have emunah that you, you really feel it. Kadosh Baruch Hu is around. Oh my goodness, I can't do this. He's looking at me. I can't do this. I can't. I can't eat like this. He's looking at me. You know, like things like that. This is what the. This is what we can explain to Rambam what he means when it speaks about the first commandment. Emunah. Everybody has emunah. But which type of emunah? You have to have emunah that the ashgacha paratit is also perfect. It's also exact. It's also bid you exactly that second. This was supposed to happen. That's supposed to happen. And the Baruch was there at every single moment of our lives. Have a good day.